All right, as you can see that installation on our primary node is completed successfully. We're going to close here. Our next target is to add our failover node to this existing installation. So we're going to close here. And I'm going to go to my secondary node. Let me show you. This is my secondary node, SQL Prod 2. And we're going to open installation media up here and install. This time we'll be adding a failover node to our existing installation of SQL Server in 2016. So click on installation and click on add node to SQL Server failover cluster. Click next. Everything is okay, but All right, the SQL Server instance in our case the sales prod. So this is This is what we uh, wanted to add this node to as a failover. So click next as you can see right now sales prod is the SQL instance sales prod is um, on SQL prod 1 which was our primary and uh, name of this node is SQL prod 2 which is our second secondary so that's okay click next everything looks good in here click next We have to provide the password for the service accounts again one more time. So I'm going to provide the password right here. And click next. All right, this is the summary and we're going to click install. It's going to take a little bit of time, so I'll pause the video again. And once the installation is completed, I'll be back. And next, our next target is to test the failover back and forth. <coughs> All right, our failover node is added successfully. Let's close this and take a look in our uh, cluster. You can open Cluster anywhere, Cluster Manager. Expand your cluster and we'll click on roles and you will see that that role is added. All right, we had, uh, before we started installation of SQL Server 2016 in cluster mode, we had 2016 MSDTC that was added before our installation. And now we have SQL Server sales prod right here that's running and online. And uh, the current owner of uh, SQL Server installation sales prod, that instance current owner is SQL prod one. So let's take a look on uh, nodes. Everything is okay. We're ready to fail over. And our testing begins with failing over this SQL Server instance to our secondary, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, secondary node. I get confused a little bit between secondary replica and primary node and all that. But uh, let's click on more action. I'm sorry, move, select node. And this is our SQL prod 2. This is our secondary. So let's go ahead and click OK and watch.
So we're gonna watch the resources, what goes offline first and what comes online first. Our disks should come online first and then after the disks are online and network is online, SQL Server resource will come online, SQL Server engine and SQL Server agents. All the disks are up and our SQL Server engine services come online and then agent services are online. Everything is online on our owner node SQL Pro 2 which is uh, our secondary node. Let's fail over to our primary again just to be sure that everything works okay. Select node and in my case it's SQL Pro 1 so click OK and it should start failing over to SQL Prod 1. All right, everything is online on our primary node. In my case, it's SQL Prod 1. Let's uh, click on our cluster. Uh, our uh, failover testing is successful. So click on cluster and we'll add the quorum. You remember that I had the quorum disk, but I haven't added yet. So we're going to click on our cluster and add the quorum. You click on more actions right here and click on configure cluster quorum setting. Click next. Select quorum configuration for your cluster. Click on advanced quorum configuration because I want it to be added in our um, disk that we created. Click next. Yes, the possible nodes right here. All the nodes. Click next. And we're going to configure a, a disk witness right here. I'm not using file share. So click on that. Click next and it'll show us the possible quorum device. In our case, if we expand all this, and if you remember when we uh, labeled the volume on the disk, it basically was Q. So this is our quorum device, so we're going to select that, click next, and click next, and finish. So as you can see, witness disk right here, the quorum device is cluster disk 4. So that's it for the installation of uh, SQL Server 2016 uh, in cluster mode, and I really hope this helps.